Hi everybody! So I wanted to do a quick thrift haul. This is everything that I got this past Tuesday. I was able to go into two stores very briefly and here's what I got. Okay, so the first store I only had about 15 minutes to look because I had to go to the doctor um, and I didn't find much but I was able to find a couple of things. Um, first thing is a Goosebumps and it is be careful what you wish for. This is a modern one, you can tell by the spine. Um, so this one will be for Towns, my son. And then I got one of those mixed bags of things um, because it had this Mr. Stay Puff plush. My son and I really share a bond over Ghostbusters. So I try to pick him up a lot of Ghostbusters things whenever I can find them. And as a bonus, in that same bag, there was a little Care Bear. So that was a nice part. All that together was like two fifty. So, and then I wasn't gonna do any more thrifting, but I had a little bit of time before I had to pick up my daughter. So I decided to pop into a Goodwill that I don't get to go too much, and I'm so glad that I did because I found a lot of really good stuff, mostly books. But uh, I'll show you what I got. Um, up first for my son got this oh there's a post-it on it sorry I got this cheat code book and it's got consoles on one side and handhelds on the other I don't know if this is relevant it might be older but um, I know he has a 2ds so I thought the handheld one might work for him he was pretty excited about that too so I'm gonna have to get that back soon I tried to keep all this stuff together so that I could film and then for my daughter I found a baby lit book, but this is the Halloween alphabet. She's been trying to say her ABC. She's only a year and a half old, so she's just working on the enunciation of each letter. She's not really saying them, but we're having a lot of fun with the alphabet. And Halloween's just around the corner, and I love Halloween, so I thought she'd be pretty into that. And then I found this precious bunny book with the... Uh, illustrations by Richard Scarry. It's really nice and vintage, pretty artwork, and it's a board book. Both of these are. Um, I call her the Spinebreaker because um, I wouldn't trust her with a paper page book right now. She likes to take them and bend them backwards, and I've had to fix a lot of books with backing tape lately because she's just so strong. I found this Domo plush with glasses and a bow tie. He's still got his little tags. He's so cute. And I don't know if Towns will want him, but if not, um, he'll just live with my other junk. And then I found an Ever After High book. I know I'm too old for these, but uh, I just started collecting the dolls and I don't really know much about the characters and I thought this would help. Their hardcovers were only a dollar, I think. And they were buy one, get one free. Or buy one, get one half price. I can't remember, but it's still a really good price for books. Originally, this one was $10, so either way. And then I got a whole bunch of Goosebumps. Original Goosebumps. And I collect these. Any doubles that I get, I give to my son. And um, any modern ones I find just go straight to his shelf. But right now we're reading the first one together, and I'm hoping that we can read all of them together. Um, his school really emphasizes reading for 20 minutes a night. So we've been trying to knock out a chapter a night. Each chapter is only like four pages, so it's pretty slow going, but he's in the third grade. So this is pretty on track for his reading level. Um, let's see, we've got number 31, Night of the Living Dummy 2. Piano lessons can be murder. That's number 13. Ooh. Night of the Living Dummy with Slappy there on the cover. It says he's no dummy. Go eat worms. Homework was never this gross before. All these covers are so iconic. I mean, if you don't have memories when you see these, you missed out on a really awesome part of childhood, in my opinion. Um, lastly, we have Return of the Mummy. I just love the colors on these. They're so good. This one's number 23. Go Eat Worms is number 21. 
And Night of the Living Dummy is number seven. And that's it for all the books. I've got my goosebumps. They're back here on my cart. Because I have one bookshelf and one cart. And as you can see, it's pretty crowded. I have to be really picky about what I get. And then I've got all my Nancy Drews piled up on the floor over there. My favorite thing that I found, and I was so excited because I never find this kind of stuff really. And if I do, it's not in the best condition. But um, just laying on the shelf, just chilling there was Gil, Laguna's boyfriend from Monster High. And it's the roller derby Gil. He's got his little helmet. He's got his leg fins. None of my Laguna dolls have their leg fins. He's got his roller skates. This is one of my favorite lines because I've played roller derby and roller skating is like a big big part of my life. I spent a lot of time at the roller rink growing up and uh, I got my car hop tattooed on my arm there. So found him and he was two dollars. If I bought this from an Instagram seller or on eBay, I guarantee you probably would have been closer to ten at least. So I was very happy to find him. And I don't have any boy monster high dolls, so we got a rooster in the hen house. Okay, so that was everything I found on my Tuesday thrift trip, my little quick trips that I made. Um, I think I found some good stuff. I'm pretty excited. Didn't spend a whole lot, so that's always great. And uh, I actually went thrifting again today with Victoria, so I'll have another haul soon. But uh, until then, be sure and check out the Super Geek page, and we'll see you soon. Bye!